Hello and welcome to my last maths art video. So this week we're looking at tessellation. Now tessellation is where shapes fit together exactly and don't leave any spaces in between. So if you think about a brick wall and how the bricks all go next to each other, those rectangular shapes, there's no spaces so those bricks tessellate. Uh, squares tessellate as well as do some triangles but today we're going to look at some slightly more complicated shapes. So here are some examples. There's some hexagons down at the bottom, as well as some other, uh, other shapes. Here are a few that I did before. And as you can see, this one down the bottom is a bird shape, but all the bird shapes fit together exactly, leaving no gaps. Now, there's a famous artist called M.C. Escher who did a lot of these pictures. And one of his most famous ones is a picture of a lizard that is made to tessellate. When I was in school last year with the Key Worker Pods in the first lockdown, we made some lizards and tessellated them. So you can see the picture on one side is the ones that the children did, and this is the original artwork. So I've got a template on the website that's got lots of different shapes that tessellate that you can try out if you print them out. If you ideally cut one of the shapes out and then you can draw around it on paper and work out where it needs to go to fit together exactly and then you keep repeating your drawing all over the page. If you want to have a go at making your own shape to tessellate that's quite easy as well so I'm going to tell you now how to do that. So you'll need to start with a small square or rectangle of card if you print out the templates there are some squares on there that you can use First thing you need to do is draw a line down the middle of it. Now it can be zigzagged, curved, however you like. Don't make it too complicated because the next thing you need to do is cut along that line. Now, if you place the two shapes down next to each other so that the straight sides are next to each other and you kept them the same way up and just tape them together. Now you could use that shape like that or you can make it a little bit more complicated by drawing a line going the opposite direction and again don't make it too complicated you need to cut it out next then once again lie the straight sides next to each other make sure you line it up at either end and tape it and there you have a shape that will tessellate so if you draw around it then you can work out how to fit it next to each other um, and not leave any gaps and you can repeat the pattern all across your piece of paper. So my top tips for making tessellating patterns are to try and be quite accurate when you cut out the shape so that it uh, fits together exactly. Uh, be very careful with your drawing and make sure you don't move the shape uh, halfway through drawing. But if you do find you've got little gaps, don't worry about it too much. Um, it will be it will be fine if you just carry on. So here are some that the bubble did in school today for you to have a look at too. Why don't you have a go? Um, the template's on the website and show me, don't forget to email me your pictures when you're done. Bye!